AES Design Builds Clean Rooms, delivering solutions to our clients, allow them to bring their product to market. What sets an AES proposal apart from the competition is our all-inclusive nature. We have a unique in-house ability to perform not just the design and the construction, but the manufacturing and the installation. You know when you go with an AES solution, it is going to work and be fully compliant. AES's estimating team kind of works as the initial central hub in developing that project. Uh, we take information from the sales staff, from the clients, compile it, and I always say we'd like to develop uh, a 30% design or approach to the job. Thinking through the schedule logistics, uh, the execution strategy from the design team, what their manpower requirements may be. The estimator will develop a cost for the job and develop a proposal to the client and interact with that client to see if the proposal meets their needs. My role in the estimate department is basically making sure that they are going down the right path. Really, at the end of the day, they are the drivers of the proposal. I'm just here to facilitate their growth and make sure that they're moving in the right direction. Construction products often face risks in terms of cost and schedule. Anytime your construction product is behind schedule, you're not making your product uh, when you expect it. More and more materials make up less a percentage of an overall cost and labor makes up a greater percentage. That's where we offer a value. We're doing all we can to pre-engineer, get hours out of the field as best as possible. The AES approach, I'll say, is the most adaptable modular approach on the market. Changes typically occur over the course of the design phase. That is a good thing. Every hour skipped coordinating in the design phase probably costs 10 hours during the construction phase. My department can support that through transparent costing. We develop unitary prices for all our components. At the end of the day, you're only paying for the products that get designed onto the job, right? If we need to add another room, we can very easily analyze the cost impact and communicate that back. Unless you're transparent in terms of presenting your cost to the owner or your client, you're never able to have that second level conversation. And that's really what we want to strike. Educate them about what's been currently been laid out in their facility and where we can work with them to control costs or uh, improve a fit in a finished detail. At the end of the day, why go it alone? AES employs a team of professional process architects, mechanical engineers, architectural engineers that solely focus on facility conformance to regulatory agencies. When you sit at that table and you're face to face with a professional like Jose Jimenez or Steve Lori, and you're sitting there saying, these are the problems that are in front of us. And you look across the table and you say, you know what? There's no better people to solve those problems in this industry than those who are at this table. That's what makes it so rewarding.